a long history of trouble with the law. I believe in one of the 2002 files, the defendant stated he broke the defendant's, the victim's leg and had apparently cracked her skull. Those were the statements the defendant made when asked about his prior record. Prosecutors highlighting Richard Saka's criminal history, which includes open stalking and domestic abuse cases in Oconto County, as they debated an appropriate bond for the man now accused of murdering two women in Green Bay last month, ultimately setting the bond at $2 million cash for the intentional homicide charges. Given the uh, nature of the charges, the exposure, the flight that's uh, mentioned, removal of GPS, and frankly, the statement of the defendant, which is uh, mostly a, a confession and the strength of the case, uh, the state's case, I'm going to set the bond uh, requested in uh, 23 CF 185. Uh, $2 million cash bond. Saka making his first appearance in court after extradition from Arkansas, where he fled after allegedly killing the woman. According to a criminal complaint, Saka has admitted to killing the two women, saying he snapped when one of them told him he had to leave the house where they lived. Mr. Soka does understand the charges and maximum penalties. We would waive their formal reading, reserving objections, and ask that the matters be scheduled for a preliminary hearing. Saka will be back in court February 22nd in Brown County, Paul Stino, Local.